Hi, welcome to the shop. Today, I'm in production. I'm making parts for the Inqualla on the Tormach PCNC 1100 with automatic tool changer. I'm trying to run these parts as fast as I can, but the Tormach has some limitations. I'm trying to keep the spindle horsepower under control. It's only one and a half horsepower, so I have to be careful, but that's not the major limiting problem. The major limit on the Tormach with automatic tool changer is the power drawbar. It doesn't hold the tool rigidly. It holds it in a kind of a weird backward system where it's the collet is closed by these Belleville washers and then released by a big air cylinder. So if I take too big of a cut, the tool pulls out of the collet. It's been a balancing act trying to figure out how fast I can actually cut parts while maintaining tolerance without pullout. Keeping the spindle horsepower well within the green seems to help. Another thing that helps a lot is to keep the surface of the tool, the, the part of the tool that goes into the collet to keep that surface precisely clean. I mean, wash it with acetone before every time it's inserted into the tool changer. Even the slightest bit of oil on the surface of the shaft can cause slippage. Of course, I also have to carefully clean the inside of the collet with acetone to make sure that it uh, is completely free of oil and grease. And once all of these things are adjusted, the machine does make parts reliably. I've made almost a thousand parts on the Tormach with good surface finish, good reliability, and once you learn the quirks of the thing, it actually performs well. But I just wish that the automatic tool changer was a little less picky. It just seems like you have to adjust it exactly right, or it doesn't perform. Now I'm drilling some holes with an optimized pet drill cycle. I've been working on speeding up the pet drill cycle to avoid long stringy chips. And little bit by little bit as I learn it, it gets faster and faster. The center hole needs to be reamed. It's going to be a very important diameter because it fits on the shaft of the machine and the more precisely that the drive rollers are centered, the less drift we have and the more precisely the glass rotates. Now making the final finish pass to clean up whatever the drill left behind. The final, final, final part will be made as the Tormach converts to a kind of a minimal CNC lathe using the rapid turn attachment that will cut the groove and the chamfers. And here we have the yield of parts.